Hi, I'm Chelsea, and I'll be guiding you on today's body mind workout. We're going to be doing a full body workout today, just using body weight. So no equipment, no dumbbells needed, just your own body in an open space. And today's theme is focused on reclaiming power over your emotions. Now our emotions are simply indicators of what energy we're at. It's simply energy in motion. And our emotions can let us know if we're in a state of receiving, if we're feeling optimistic, if we're feeling inspired, if we're feeling joy, if we're feeling peace, if we're feeling love, or if we're in a state of resistance, if we're feeling shame, guilt, hopelessness, fear, anxiety. Now we're here to experience the full and complete spectrum of human emotions, even those darker, denser, heavier ones but it's about not staying there for too long. It's about acknowledging that emotion, accepting it, bringing it love, bringing it kindness, and then reorienting ourselves towards that emotion that is closer to joy, our natural state of being. So no matter what emotion you're feeling today, no matter where you are right now, you have the opportunity right now in this workout to bring that emotion that you want to call into, that you want to embody in your life. You can bring that emotion to today's workout and today's movement. So first we're going to start by warming up the body with some sun salutation. So you can remove anything that you're sitting on and make your way to a downward facing dog. We're going to just lightly move around in this shape. So we're going to pedal the feet, shake the head yes, shake the head no. Just introduce some light movement to the body, get it warmed up. And just take this moment to just quickly check in with whatever your energy is at, whatever emotional state you're in. And let's reorient yourself to that emotion that you want to embody, that you really want to feel, and the one that you, want to, that you really deserve. Now, step your feet towards your hands and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, step the left foot back, bring the left knee down to the ground, open up the chest, open up the heart center. Now, step that right foot back into a downward facing dog. Come into a plank and then come onto your knees, chest, make your way to an upward facing dog, and then press back to a downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, exhale, step between your hands, bring the right knee down to the ground, open up the chest, and then step the right foot to meet the left and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Orient yourself towards that emotion, towards love, towards bliss, towards joy. Circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back now. Bring your right knee down to the ground. Open up the chest. And then step back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Come on to your knees, chest upward facing dog, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg extends. Exhale, step the right foot through, come into a lunge, left knees on the ground, open up the chest, open up the heart center, and then bring the left foot to meet the right and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead, and exhale, fold. We're going to start the first flow in a downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg extends. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Extend the right leg back up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step the right foot through, come into a lunge and rise up. From this position, we are going to bring our hands to heart center. We're going to bend into the right leg. And then we're going to reach our arms up to the sky, bringing the left knee towards the chest. We're going to reverse the lunge, hands back to heart center, and then reach and bring the left knee up towards the chest. We're going to go for 10 of these. You can imagine yourself reaching for that next best thought, 
that next best emotion that's gonna bring you closer towards joy, your truth. Find your flow, find your pace. We're going for five, four, three, two, and one. Now we have our hands and heart center. What we're gonna do is extend them forward, and right, we're going to open up through the chest. We're just squeezing the back muscles, squeezing the backs of the shoulders, and opening up the chest. And then we're gonna bring the hands back towards center, open up the chest. We're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squeeze, one. Bring your hands to heart center, come back down, hands to the floor, and extend that right leg up. We're gonna come onto your left knee, right leg is staying lifted. We're gonna reach forward with the left hand, and we're gonna bring our left knee, or left elbow to our right knee and curl in. Extend and curl. Going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reach one. Hand back to the ground, extend the right leg up and bring it back down into a downward facing dog. We're going right into the next side. So inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, extend the left leg, exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend, left leg steps through to a low lunge, rise up, hands to heart center. Orient yourself in love, enjoy. We're going to lunge here. Reach up, right knee comes towards our chest, and then step back. We're going for 10, nine, eight, seven. Reach for that emotion you want to embody. Four, three, two, last one, reach, one. Hands to heart center, we're still in the lunge position. Bring your hands in front of you. Open up the chest, squeeze the back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands back down to the ground. Extend the left leg up and bring your right knee down towards the floor. Left leg is staying lifted. We're gonna extend the right arm forward and curl in. Extend and curl. We're going for 10, nine, eight. We're picking up the pace of it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one and one. Both hands come to the ground, extend the left leg up, and exhale, drop it down, come into a downward facing dog. Take a moment here to close your eyes, reconnect with the breath. Notice if your heart rate is now elevated, if you're feeling any sensations in the body, if you're feeling a change of energy, definitely acknowledge that. Just take a moment to check in with where you're at, where is your energy? When you're ready, extend the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg extends. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step the right foot through, come into a lunge. Hands to heart center. We're gonna lunge here and reach up. We're going for 10. Find your flow. Balance. Find steadiness in the breath and the body. You've got this. And don't forget to smile while you're doing this. Have fun with it. <laughs> Last one. Okay, hands to heart center. We're gonna extend those hands forward. We're gonna open up the chest, squeeze the back for 10. Nine, eight, be open to receiving 
open to receiving opportunities of joy, thoughts that are oriented in joy, and just receiving more from the universe, receiving more from this life. Two, last one, and one. Bring your hands to heart center, drop them down to the ground, extend the right leg up, and then exhale, bring your left knee down to the ground. We're extending the left arm forward, and squeeze and curl in, elbow to knee. Extend and curl for 10, nine, eight, seven, find your rhythm. We've got three, two, and one. Inhale, extend the right leg up. Exhale, come back to a downward facing dog. Last side for this flow. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step the left leg through, come into a low lunge. Hands to heart center. We're gonna lunge here and reach. Lunge, reach. We've got 10. I'm right there with you. <laughs> We've got this last set on this side. What really helps if you, is if you have a smile on your face while doing this motion, automatically you feel happier. <laughs> got one more and one. And start at center. You take a moment to just close your eyes. Feel yourself in a balanced state. Just find the breath. Bring your hands in front of you. We're going to open up the chest for 10, nine, receive more. What do you want to receive into your life? What do you want to allow to come in? So you can welcome that with open arms right now. When you're in that energy, you're gonna attract it that much more because you're a match. Last one, hands come down to the mat, extend the left leg up, exhale, right knee comes to the ground, left leg stays lifted, extend that right arm forward and curl in for 10, extend, curl nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Extend the left leg up and come back to a downward facing dog. For this next flow, we're gonna come into a flank position. We're gonna bring our knees down to the ground. You can lift your, your feet up off the ground. What we're gonna do here is we're going to do some push-ups with some shoulder taps in between. So we're gonna push up and we're gonna tap the left shoulder the right shoulder, and then do another push-up, tap the right shoulder, and the left shoulder. We're gonna go for 10 push-ups. So find your flow, find your rhythm, and find that pace that's gonna allow you to be connected with your breath and really connected with your body. So we're gonna push up here, tap the right shoulder, and left. Push up, tap right, left. We're gonna go for 10. And this movement really find that strength and that power that you want to show up with in your life. Because when we have power, that enables us to really have the opportunity to, to go after and be what we want. To not only be what we want, but to be our truth. To stand in our power is to stand in our highest potential. And it's not about exerting power over others. It's about just understanding our control, understanding our responsibility, and what a service we could be to the world. Now, we're gonna come into a downward facing dog. Do you finish 10? We're gonna hop the feet up to meet the hands. We're gonna rise up. From here, we're gonna step the feet out, slightly shoulder distance apart, 
toes pointing out just a little bit. What we're gonna do here is we're going to squat down. We're gonna open up our arms, circle them up, and then bring that energy back down. Circle the arms up, bring the energy in. We're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reach for that energy, and one. We're gonna hop back to a plank, and from here, we're going to jump the feet out, and then jump the back together. We're gonna go for 20 of these. So find whatever pace you're working with, Fire up that core, keep the core tight, the spine long. Really just find your inner power, find that strength that's within and stay steady with the breath. Five, four, three, two, last one, one. Come to a downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. And let it all out through the mouth. One more like that, inhale. Exhale. Use this little rest break as an opportunity to again, take note of whatever energy you're feeling. Maybe you're actually feeling your emotions or your mood elevating through this workout. Whatever your, whatever state you're in, just see if you can get a little bit closer towards joy. A little bit closer towards your truth. When we're aligned with our truth, we feel good. We feel good and we start to attract more of that. When you're ready, come into a plank position. Drop your knees to the ground. and lift your feet up. We're going to do push up with shoulder taps. So we're gonna push up here, tap the right shoulder, and left. Push up, tap left, right. Find your pace. We're going for 10 of these. Breathe. 
Whenever you feel like you're getting lost in the movement, lost in the flow, you can always come back to the breath. The breath is always here to anchor you in the now, in the moment, into presence. We can use the breath in this workout. We can use the breath in every other moment of our lives. Here, it's just practice. It's just practice. When you're ready, come forward to a plank position. Drop your knees to the ground. Pick your feet up. Then we're gonna do 10 of these push-ups to shoulder claps. So drop down for one. Tap, tap, drop two. Tap, tap, drop three. Tap, tap, drop four. You got it. I am right there with you. So if you're feeling any sort of burning sensations, or like, this is getting really challenging, just know I'm in it with you. We're gonna get through this together. <laughs> you know how people always say we are all one? Well, here's a moment of that. <laughs> we're both in this. <laughs> we're, we're both in whatever this experience is. I mean, isn't it amazing that we can be doing the exact same thing but can be having totally different experiences. That's such a beautiful part of life and a beautiful part of this existence. Give me one more. And tap, tap. Make your way to a downward facing dog. And then look between your hands and step or jump to the top of the mat or between hands and fold. Rise up, you can circle your arms up overhead and bring those hands to heart center. We're gonna step the feet out to shoulders distance and we're gonna squat and reach for that energy. So we're gonna squat here and reach. Pull in that energy, squat and reach. You can almost view this as a cleansing of the aura as well. You're really just grabbing the radiant life force energy around you and creating this, this aura or this bubble that is all around your physical body, all around your energetic body. And if you're just calling in that energy of love, of bliss, of radiance, then you become more of that. Because we always have the power to claim what is rightfully ours, and that is joy, and that is love. Give me three more, because I love to count. <laughs> Two, and one. Bring your hands to heart center. Drop your hands to the ground. Step or hop back to a plank. We got 20 pop outs with the feet. So we're gonna jump out for 20, 19, 18, 17, Keep going. We're almost there, we're almost done with this flow. Just stay engaged with the movement. Stay focused on that emotion, that, that energy you wanna operate in. See if you can bring it, even when it gets hard. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come into a downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Close your eyes. And allow yourself to just feel. Feel the energy running through your entire body. Feel all of your cells being stimulated by the motion. And if that was challenging for you, just acknowledge how you made it, how you made it through. Because all emotions, all states of being, there's an impermanence to them. They pass by. So no matter how difficult of an emotion that you're feeling, or whatever the situation is, that will also pass. And you can always choose to again, reorient yourself towards the higher emotion. 
When you're ready, we're gonna come into a plank position. We're gonna move all of the weight onto our right hand and come onto the edge of our right foot. I'm sorry, our left foot. So we're on our left foot and our right hand. We're gonna extend the left hand over our ear. And we're gonna crunch and bring our right knee to our left elbow. Extend for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, reach, four, three, two, last one, and one. We're gonna come into a three-legged dog, extending the right leg up. We're gonna step that right foot through into a low lunge and rise up. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna reach the arms up overhead, and then we're gonna bring our arms down to a cactus position. We're gonna reach and pull for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring hands to heart center and down to the ground. Extend the right leg up, and we're gonna pulse and lift with the glutes for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that right foot down, come into a plank, shift all of the weight into the left hand, and come onto the right foot. We're gonna extend the right arm over, and then we're gonna crunch and bring our left knee to our right elbow for 10. Extend and crunch nine, eight, seven, six, find your balance, five, four, three, two, and reach for one. Come into a three-legged dog with the left leg extending, and then step it through to a low lunge and rise up. Extend the arms up overhead, and then reach and pull and squeeze with your back muscles, squeeze with your lats. Reach up and pull for 10, nine, engage the back, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Bring your hands down to the mat. Extend your left foot up towards the sky. And we're gonna drop, we're just dropping the leg down and then squeezing with the glutes to rise up. We're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Come into a downward facing dog. Take a moment here to close your eyes. I just want you to, again, focus on the emotion you wanted to cultivate during this workout, the emotion you want to move towards in life, that you want to embody in this day and in this present moment. The emotion that you're after for today is, is gratitude, if it's joy, if it's peace, it's certainty, it's trust, surrender, whatever it is, see if you can embody it right now during this workout so that you can carry it with you for the rest of the day. When you're ready, come into a plank position. All of the weight in that right hand. Come onto the edge of your left foot. And we're going to extend that left arm up overhead. And then we're gonna reach and crunch, bringing the left elbow to the right knee. Extend and crunch for 10, nine, eight. I know this is hard, but you've got it. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. We're gonna come back to a three-legged dog, extending the right leg up, and then we're gonna step it through to a lunge and rise. Reach the arms up, and then reach and pull with the lats, pull with the back muscles and squeeze. Reach and pull for 10, nine, eight, keep the core tight. 
five, four, three. Really focus on contracting the back in this exercise. And one. Hands come down to the mat. Extend that right leg up. And then drop it down towards the mat. And then back to stand, squeezing the glutes for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one and one. Come back down to a downward facing dog. We're on our final side of a final flow. So give it all that you've got. Come into a plank position. Put all of the weight into your left hand and the right foot. Extend the right arm overhead and then crunch, bring the right elbow to the left knee. Extend and crunch for 10, nine, eight. What emotion are you reaching for? What thought is yours to claim? Reach for it, got it. Bring it closer to your heart. Three, two, last one, and one. Extend that left leg up into a three-legged dog, and then bring it into a low lunge, three between your hands, and rise up. Reach with the arms, reaching towards the sky, and then squeezing, pulling with the back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, if you're not smiling right now, put a smile on your face. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Hands to heart center. Then bring your hands back down towards the ground. Extend the left leg up and then drop it down to meet the right. And then squeeze the glutes to lift it back up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Come into a downward facing dog. Come into a plank position. If you bring your knees down to the floor, we're just gonna make our way to our back. We're going to do one ab exercise. All we're gonna do here is leg lift. So you're gonna bring your feet up towards the sky. We're just gonna slowly drop the legs down towards the ground, just stopping a few inches above, and then extending back up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one and one. Bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug. You can just close your eyes. Just use this as a little mini opportunity to turn inward. And give yourself a little, little love, acknowledgement for making it this far for having the strength to keep going. You're gonna extend those legs back up, feet towards the sky, drop the legs down, stopping just a few inches above the ground, and then extending back up for 10, nine. We're using those lower abs here. So really just focus on being very slow, precise with this movement and just, just Feel it in your core. And really feel that internal strength that you have within, that's always within you. We've got three, two, last one, and one. Bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug. I want you to say one kind thing to yourself. Right now in this moment could be anything. Just say one kind thing. Give yourself a compliment. And allow yourself to just soak that in. Got one more set to go. Extend those legs up. Exhale, bring the feet towards the ground. 
contracting with the abs and extend. Got 10 here. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Got three, two, and one. Bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a hug, close the eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth release. A few more deep breaths here. Embracing yourself. Holding your body. This sacred vessel that is gifted to you, that is really always here. It's allowing you to experience this human life. It's getting you through all of these crazy human emotions and crazy life circumstances. The body is here, it's here to trust. It's here to love. It's part of your team. When you're ready, you can make your way up to a seated position. If you have a meditation pillow, you can grab one right now. Make your way to a cross-legged position. Your hands can come onto the tops of your thighs and gently flutter the eyes closed. And let's turn inward to close out today's workout. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Release through the mouth. <sighs> inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> One more like that, deep inhale and exhale. Allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. We're not trying to change anything. We're not trying to control anything. We're just letting the breath be, we're letting it flow. If you have any thoughts that arise, you can just direct your awareness back to the breath. Right now, we're just trying to quiet the mind so that we can let the body speak. Our emotions and our thoughts, we have so many of them. And oftentimes, they are not reflective of our truth, but we tend to believe them. But the body, the body only speaks truth. It has a knowingness beyond what the mind can comprehend for itself. So I want you to just focus on the breath Focus on the steadiness of the heart. Just allow yourself to get really, really silent. to notice any sensations in the body. You can notice that there's any tightness, any tension, or maybe any areas that feel really, really energized and open. I want you to just quickly scan your entire body. We're starting at the crown of the head. down the forehead, cheeks, the neck, throat. Your shoulders, your arms, your fingertips. Your 
Notice that there's any sensations in the middle of the chest, any sensations in the heart, the abdomen, the belly. Maybe you feel some sensation in the hips, in the thighs, calves, shins. So allow your mind to get very still and just see if any part of your body lights up with sensation. memory is locked in the body. It's just waiting patiently for your acknowledgement. to make its way to your conscious awareness. See if you can give it the acknowledgement, the acceptance, the kindness, the love that it's waiting for. With your next few breaths, see if you can send the breath to that area of the body and allow the breath to nourish it, to coat it with loving kindness. did you choose to embody throughout the workout? What emotion do you want to really feel into today, tomorrow, the rest of this year, the rest of your life? What higher emotions do you want to embody that move you closer to a state of ultimate joy, love, bliss? Optimistic. You want to feel peace. Whatever that emotion is, can you feel what it would be like to be in that energy right now? What does joy feel like in your body? What does it feel like to be so connected 
with the highest expression of yourself. just melt away and let yourself see fully. If you'd like, you can place one or both of your hands over your heart. Just feel the warmth of your hands resting against your chest, offering love. center, lock in that higher emotion, the emotion that orients you towards the state of eternal joy, your true state of being. When you are in this place inside of you, and I am in this place inside of me, we are all one forever and always. You always have the opportunity to choose your feelings, your emotions. Joy is always available. It's yours for the day. When you're ready, you can flutter the eyes open, come back to the space, come back to the room, come back to this video. And I want to thank you so much for joining me on today's body-mind workout. And whatever emotion you chose to embody for today during this workout, I challenge you to orient yourself in that emotion throughout the rest of your day. See if you can bring that emotion forward in all of your actions, all of your interactions with other people, all of your thoughts. See if you can really reclaim power over your emotions and reach for that joy that you so, so, so deserve. Thank you again so much, and I'll catch you in the next one.